What's up everyone? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Nicole, of course, as you guys can see from the title, today I am going to be eating sushi. So the ones that are in the containers I picked up at Kroger's and then I also got a sushi burrito right here from Yumaki Sushi Burrito. Um, it's a place here in Houston. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get a prayer and we can dive in. Father God, I want to thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So let me... I um, didn't open them yet because I figured I really like the purple A. And um, I wanted to tell you guys like the name of everything that I got and what's in it. So this right here is Crunch Shaggy Dog Roll. This one's California Combo. And this one is Spicy Crunch Roll. So, let's just go ahead and open these on up. I'm going to put my burrito down. I cut it once I got home, but I forgot that they cut it at the place. So, that's why it's like so messed up. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and open this. This one has um, shrimp. Serini salad. Oh my gosh, I don't want to mess up any of these words. Avocado, spicy mayo, sushi, sauce, and fried onions. Kanikima. Oh. Oh my gosh, my burrito's falling apart. Jeez. Okay. Let's just go ahead and open this. Ooh, it looks so good. Uh, yum, yum. It's so crazy because I never used to. I, I was like, you know, before I started doing these mukbangs, I was like, I'm never, ever going to be eating sushi. Like, I just couldn't do it. And now I absolutely love it. The California roll has California salad, spicy California roll, crunchy Cali roll. Oh, I guess it doesn't really have what's all inside, but these all look so good. I like, I really like the ones with like the crunchy stuff on top of there. So that's this California roll. Mmm. I'm excited because in my burritos, I got some hot Cheeto powder. This one, Surimi salad, Kanikima, cream cheese, spicy mayo, sushi sauce, um, sriracha sauce, fried onion, avocado, and jalapenos. Ooh, I think this one's probably going to be my favorite, but I know I've tried these all before, but I kind of forget. <laughs> so this is the spicy. Mm. Mm -mm. Um, I did get an extra sauce at the burrito place, but I did pick up some sauce at Kroger's as well. This is just some spicy mayo hot sauce. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in. Uh, how is your guys' day going? Are you preparing for... Thanksgiving, what's the deal? Do you guys like cook all day today so you can eat earlier tomorrow morning? Did I pray? Father God, I wanna thank you for this food and please bless this food. In Jesus name we pray, amen. Okay, just in case if I didn't. Um, and then I have a squirt right here. Mm, cheers. I'm gonna take a bite of the burrito first. So I actually, um, <laughs> when I woke up this morning, I was scrolling on TikTok a little bit, you know, before I hopped out of bed. Um, and I came across this girl who had was like putting together a really cute outfit. Some of it was, it was from all different places. Zara, Fashion Nova, Yeezy Slides, um, and H&M and Skims. Mm. Mm -hmm. I 
a little dry. I think I need some of this. But I was like, oh my gosh, I really, really liked her outfit a lot. So I got ready, decided to go to the mall, which I know already it was going to be hectic because it's the day before Thanksgiving. Everyone's going to be there, maybe finding an outfit or whatever you guys are doing. I know there's a little bit of sales going on, but it's not actually, you know, on Black Friday. So um, I figured there would be a lot of people at the mall, so I was kind of just going to do like run in, run out kind of situation. But the thing is, if you have ever been to the Galleria, you will know that it is huge huge like a huge mall and I personally only been there like a handful of times and every time I went I was with someone so I didn't know where the stores were at for me to like just zip to them right away so it took me a while I did get to forever 21 Zara didn't have the jacket that or the vest that I was looking for Mm. Oh my gosh. By the way, this is spicy tuna, snow crab, hot Cheeto flakes, um, cream cheese, spicy mayo, and wontons wrapped up in a burrito. That's what I get in mine. Mm. Oh, I should have picked out my... If you guys have been watching my live, I kind of been blinging up this huge, huge sriracha bottle that I got from Walmart which I kind of touched on in yesterday's video, but they gave me some chopsticks in there and I wish I would have grabbed them before I started this video. Mm. So anyways, <laughs> I'm in the mall I did get the outfit and I got the last bag that was from H&M that was in this girl's video which I was so happy about because I felt like the bag really pulled the whole outfit together. Mm. Really liking this spicy. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? It, the mall looks so gorgeous around this time of the year. There's a massive Christmas tree right in the middle. And if you guys don't know already, there is an ice skating rink um, as well. So it just looked so gorgeous. There was peop some people ice skating. Um, I believe I'm going to take my mom there when I uh, when she comes visits either there is inside the mall but then there's the outdoor one as well once it gets closer to Christmas which I went to I think it was last year That one is really, I love that. <clears throat> Ooh. But when I was walking around, I just remembered being at the mall with Darius doing Black Friday shopping and, um, Remember when I, 
I was wearing my mask, so please don't get like grossed out, but I, I caught it on camera. That's the funny part. We were Black Friday shopping in Ohio, and ooh, ooh, I just got some of the wasabi, and uh, I think I was like trying to vlog or something and I sneezed I was gonna turn around and tell him something but I sneezed and he was like uh, his face reaction was hilarious <laughs> it was hilarious mm. Mm. this one has a little sweet <clears throat> Sweetness to it, shaggy dog. You shaggy dog. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Or like, I don't know. So, I talked about my family yesterday, you know, it's this time of year, I'm kind of uncomfortable, not uncomfortable, um, emotional since it's the holidays and I'm not home spending it with my family. I'm going to be staying here in Texas. I'm going to try to cook a little something, not too much, um, but yeah. And then probably go live, not a live mukbang, but probably just go live on my Instagram and keep doing what I've been doing. But I want to just kind of reminisce, um, you know, the holidays with Dalvin's family spent in Ohio. Because I was with them the past two years. It was really fun. Um, we did always record a video, uh, or did we do live? No, I think it was a video. We all sat down, um, Beloved cooked everything, which I know I'm going to for sure. I'm definitely going to miss her cooking. Oh my goodness, everything was so amazing. Um, and then we all sat down as a, a fam, excuse me, <clears throat> A family and you know prayed said what we're thankful for um, and then just kind of all chit chatted I think sometimes it turns into like a singing kind of thing <laughs> I love them they're so they're so close as a family and I always love that because I wasn't like that with mine so um, when I seen that and like got brought into that it felt like a really really good feeling They're so silly together. <clears throat> Darius is hilarious. <laughs> I definitely miss him. But we are broken up and I seen some comments from yesterday's video saying like, um, why didn't they invite me to Arizona? Because that's where they are this year. Um, you guys, we're not together anymore. I I could have went to with my family, but like I said, I don't really my family doesn't celebrate it like in a big way. We used to in the past. So I just figured because my mom's coming to visit me very very shortly after Thanksgiving so I didn't want to fly there and then she's coming here right right away <clears throat> so we can do a little two-in-one Thanksgiving and Christmas she told me I have to get a seafood boil when I'm down by you have to have to no if ands or buts um, 
I don't know if I'm going to make it for her or I was kind of maybe thinking about taking her to Lotus Seafood. Um, I personally think that it's, well, Lotus, it's like hand in hand. Lotus and um, Crab Kings, I think, are the best seafood that I've tried here in Houston. Um, I know there's loads and many, 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 many more places, but those are the places that I've tried. Not the only, but, you know, that are like top ranked in my, in my head. So... That is why I didn't go home. <laughs> Plus, you know, the airport is hectic around this time. I don't think I've ever, I don't know. I just feel like it would be like extremely busy. It would probably make me have a panic attack. There's so many people. So, <clears throat> I do miss Dalvin's family. They're not like, you know, they didn't, they did not say that I couldn't come, but obviously like it just, it's not going to be a thing. You have to accept that we're not, you know, a thing anymore. <laughs> we're really good friends and yes, we still record. I seen someone say like, oh, well you still do videos. Yeah. We knew each other for years. It's not like we're gonna just stop talking, you know? I still love him as a person. We're just not in love with each other, so. Yeah, maybe I should FaceTime them. Um, I can FaceTime Darius. And be like, Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> yeah, it's sad, but it's all good. Mm. This burrito is just falling apart. It's everywhere. <laughs> oh. Wait, no. I'm thinking of Christmas. I was like, me and Darius put up um, the tree the past two years. Otherwise, it, it's just going to be Darius doing it alone because I know Dublin's not going to help him do it. <laughs> so it'll be just me and, um, well, it'll probably just be Darius. Mm. Sushi is so good. <sighs> oh, I have to tell you guys. When I was at the mall, me, oh, another thing, um, Darian, Darius and I did uh, around like just the holidays overall. Just being in Ohio, I remember going to Liberty. It was like um, this mall and it had apartments on um, above it. And then all the stores were below. 
they would have, they probably already have their Christmas tree up and everyone's shopping around. It's kind of like an indoor outdoor kind of mall, but it was, it was really nice. But, um, we would all go get macarons, macarons or macarons. I don't know. But anyways, <clears throat> um, Darius and I loved them so much we would get them we would be there like all the time so um when i was at the mall today actually i picked up a, a little pack of six and i don't know if it's because i haven't had them probably since last year around this time but they were so i mean like i'm really not even exaggerating i they were so dang good and i don't do this um, usually, it, like, <laughs> honestly, I felt like I was, like, um, uh, I don't want to say this in the wrong way, but I, uh, as soon as I bought the, because I was leaving the macaron, um, little setup station, um, in the mall when I was grabbing them and leaving, okay? And when I got to my car, I was like, oh, let me just try one, because I haven't had one, you know, since last year. And... When I tell you guys, these were the best macarons I've ever ate. Better than the ones in Ohio. <sighs> it was cold, like slightly cold and a little like crisp. Because you know on top, they can be, um, you know, just like have that little breakage of the cookie or whatever it's called. Best one I have ever ever tried the first one i tried was a caramel and then um i ate the whole caramel one i mean they're only like this big but i was a dang near having an orgasm in my car i was like oh my god this is so dang good i was talking to myself because they were that good <laughs> and i usually don't and i'm not even lying either i was like wow these are just amazing and i know some people because i was one of them as well you know, I was like, I don't really like those. And maybe it's because I, I tried. The first time I tried them, I was in actually Arizona with Darius when he was um, just going to college and trying to figure out like the dorm stuff and everything. Or it was like orientation, I think. So um, I first tried them in Arizona and they just weren't as sweet. Um, I just, maybe it's the flavor I got, I don't know, but if you are one, uh, anybody out there who's like, oh, I don't really care for macarons or macaroons, whatever, um, if you ever are in Houston, Texas, at the Galleria, on the second level, I think it is, there's a macaron little shop, it's not like a regular store, it's kind of like in the middle of the mall, grab some i got caramel um i got fr two fruity pebbles um the caramel wasn't out like on display so i asked for it so i would have got two caramel instead of fruity pebbles even though i really do like fruity pebbles but um so i got six in total caramel fruity pebbles um birthday cake and i think just like vanilla <clears throat> Oh, they were delicious. I was literally sitting in my car like, mm, mm, dang, this is so good. Like, oh my gosh. I wanted to get out my car and be like, yo, someone has to try this because it's that good. <laughs> so I, I don't, I'm not sure if my mom likes those or not, but when we go ice skating, I want her, I want to buy like, um, you know, like a little six pack of them and have her try them because... Oh, they're legit mouth-watering. So good. Mmm. You know, yesterday I was kind of down when I was seeing all the families together, like, shopping for stuff for Thanksgiving at Walmart, but today, I don't know what it is, but I woke up in the absolute most best mood ever. I'm just really happy and like, you know, just full of excitement and, and 
I don't know. I'm like overwhelmed with just happiness. I don't feel down anymore. I went tanning this morning and I kind of low-key got the vibe um, from the, okay, because uh, my tanning salon, I just realized this. My tanning, I don't know if the people quit at my tanning salon or they just like move people around to different locations or something, but when I first started going there, there was this girl that I really like, we like kind of small talked with each other when she was checking me in and <clears throat> whatever, setting up the bed. And then she was there for maybe a couple of months and then she left. And then it's been like hit or miss with the people. And some people give me, give off like kind of grouchy vibes. Like, I don't know, but that's just me. And because I can literally feel people's vibes. Like you don't have to say anything and I just already, I can, t I can just feel it in my body. So I'm like, mm, I'm gonna stay away from you. But the girl recently, I feel like she wants to, and this may be all up in my head, but I feel like she wants to be friends. <laughs> I'm serious like you know we just have like little chit chats whatever and um but today I don't know what it was she just like gave off the vibe that she wants to like say something like we should like go out one time or something you know when someone's just like giving off that energy because I was getting out of my tanning bed and then I was going to get a spray tan so I walked to the back because they're in the back and I'm like kind of just looking around for her because nobody no one else is in the salon and so <clears throat> I'm like she's on the phone I'm like is it is it ready because she has to put this container in there and then I can go in <laughs> and she was like oh no well, hold on I have to just go get it I was like okay no problem like not mad at all about it. I was like, that's cool, whatever. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. It just, I just felt something. You know when you just feel like, oh, we could be friends. You know, we can be best friends. That's the vibe I was getting. We'll have to see. Stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated on that. <laughs> no, but seriously, if we did, that would be awesome because then, you know, I have some more people to hang out down here in Texas with. <sighs> One more and then I'm done. The spice just keeps bringing you back to them, um, I swear. Sorry guys, my camera shut off because it was to the... It just shut off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Whew. So, I don't know, that's basically it. <clears throat> just kind of reminiscing about being in Ohio. They probably have, I don't know, maybe a little bit of snowfall. It's probably colder than it is here in Texas, <clears throat> but it is sad, but I'm not, you know, that upset about it today. To be totally honest, it was a great time and I know they are still in my heart and I'm still in theirs. It's just, we're not going to be doing holidays anymore, <laughs> but at least I do have all of the the stuff that I did record like of us together, like the gingerbread houses, um, ice skating, uh, when I sneezed in Darius's face. <laughs> I love <clears throat> that they are all on YouTube so I can just go back 
and watch them, watch the memories. You know what I'm saying? So YouTube is kind of like a good thing for that reason. But of course, if you get something out there that you don't really want out there, it's not that great. But, you know, it's kind of like a scrapbook in a way. So it's pretty amazing. I think I'm going to go... Actually, I was thinking... Um, I have to see how I could put a video like a re of me doing like a reaction video but I have to see how to put the video on my screen that's typically what I was thinking about doing you know kind of for this video but m more maybe in the future uh, I figured it would be really funny if I <laughs> reacted to something um, that either um, Delvin and I have done or all three of us Delvin Darius and me um, or the whole family or whatever so let me know if that's something you guys want to see I think it would be absolutely hilarious I just have to figure out um, and call them up and ask how to do that but that's pretty much it um, if you guys want to chit chat more with me I am trying to go live every single night um, on my Instagram possibly may start going on TikTok as well um, I s picked up a new hobby and it is putting rhinestones on things like covering it a whole object with rhinestones and I'm starting on a huge sriracha bottle so if you're interested in watching that please um, follow my Instagram um, which is Nicole, of course, and on Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. It's Nicole, of course, with two E's at the end. I love you guys so much. Please smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Maybe of a funny time that you remember um, all of us recording together. I feel like that would be awesome to look back at in the comments and um, kind of just laugh along with you guys. So... I will see you tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I'm really excited, kind of scared at the same time to see how my my meal will come out, but um, we'll, we'll try. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye.